there and welcome to Make It With Miss Mandy. Today I'm excited to show you how to put together this 3D gumball machine. This is a really fun design that's not only cute but it's functional as well. You can open up the lid and store fun things like pom-poms in here or use it as a treat container as a reward system in like a classroom or maybe for your kids or something like that. So head on over to designsbymissmandy.com to download your free template, gather up your supplies, and let's get started. The supplies you'll need for this project are cardstock, about nine sheets in various colors, Duralar film, hot glue, precision craft glue or a glue stick, a large bead, pom-poms or gumballs, a cutting machine or X-Acto knife, and my template which can be found at designsbymissmandy.com. Other optional but helpful supplies include foam tape, decorative ribbon, and a bone folder. If you need help figuring out how to set up the file that includes score lines, be sure to check out the tutorial I made on the subject. So I have all of my pieces cut out now, and I have my Duralar pieces as well. Sorry for my squeaky chair, but okay. So they're over here. They're just drying right now on a paper towel. Anytime I make things out of Duralar, I like to um, give them a little rinse in the sink with some dish soap first, and that way all the sticky residue from the Cricut mat um, comes off of it and it can be nice and clear. Okay, so to get started, I'm gonna set aside most of my pieces and I'm gonna focus on these decorative panels and then some of these pieces as well. What I'm going to do is I'm going to figure out um, where each of these pieces goes. All right, so I think I've got this puzzle figured out, and that is what mostly the first part of this project is, is just figuring out where everything goes. So these ones are gonna go on the base of these like more triangular shaped pieces. Um, this one obviously goes on the piece with the hole. This one will go on the one that'll be on the back side. And these do overhang from the sides slightly, whereas these pieces don't overhang and fit nicely um, within this space, and will stop where you see the score lines. And then these decorative panels, these ones are pretty obvious. These ones will just go right here and here. Um, but they are, they almost look like they're a square, but they're not quite. So if you put them this way, then um, it doesn't frame up quite correctly. So make sure that you place it this way so that it'll be even on all sides with this piece at the bottom. Also, one more thing just to point out is that these pieces will go on the end that has the tab. This side does not have a tab, and so this is going to be the top, and this will be the bottom, and that's where you're gonna put this piece. So with that, I'm ready to start gluing these all together. And with our decorative pieces attached, the next thing we're going to do is flip everything over and we're going to start making this into a kind of angled box. So all of these sides are going to connect with the long tabs to this base section here, this piece. So you're just gonna take these tabs, add some glue, attach these rectangular ones to the left and right sides, and then attach this piece uh, to the back side. With each of those attached, I'm going to set this piece aside for now. And I'm going to take my circular frame pieces. And then next, I'm going to flip them over and attach my circular Duralar pieces 
Hopefully, well, they're not quite dry. Hold on, let me wipe them off. <laughs> okay, here's one of the pieces. So I'm just going to add some glue around the perimeter of this piece and attach it. Now I'll do the same thing with this one. Once you've given these a little bit of time to dry, you can take one of them and we're gonna attach it to our main piece here. So we're going to attach it to this side that has the hole in it. And we're just going to take these little tabs and add some glue and just adhere it to the um, top portion of this section. With that in place, I'm now going to take all of these tabs and fold them inward. And then I'll take these two side pieces and fold them inward as well. Now we're gonna fold this piece up and attach these two sides. All right, with those pieces attached, the next thing we're going to do, we're not going to finish assembling this bottom portion just yet. We're going to take these two rectangular frame pieces, and they don't have their film in them yet either. We're going to, before we add the film, we're going to use these two. We're gonna take the long tab down here. This is going to attach here. Sorry, off camera, there we go. Attach here and one here. We're gonna fold each of these little tabs inward and these are going to go along the perimeter of the top of the gumball machine. They're not gonna reach the top, the top all the way because there's going to be an opening where you can put things inside. So first things first, let's fold along all these little score lines. So like I said, now I'm just going to start attaching these tabs along the perimeter of the top of the gumball machine. Now that these pieces are attached, the next thing I'm going to do is put in the film. The reason I do this after these are already attached is so that I can follow the curve. Um, otherwise, if I attach these first and then try to curve this whole thing, then the film would pucker. So now I'm just going to try to carefully place these inside of the frames. With both of these film pieces in place, the next thing we're going to do is work on our little base floor piece that's going to go right in here. This is going to be what balances uh, the things that you put inside. And it looks like this. So it's just a, basically a little square with some tabs on the edge. So fold the tabs inward and then you can just attach them inside right there. With that in place, I am now going to attach our second round piece to the back side. Now with this attached, I can fold this up and I'm just going to glue along all of the tabs. So we've got these two right here 
this one in the back, and then all of these little round tabs, I'll make sure that they go across the, around the perimeter of the gumball machine. I don't know about you, but I think this is starting to look like a gumball machine. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is put together our little coin slot. So this is just going, this is gonna be pretty easy. It's just layering these pieces, like so. And then I just have a couple of little lever pieces that I'm going to layer together with foam tape to give them a little bit of dimension and make it pop out from the machine a little bit. And now I'm just gonna use a little bit more foam tape to attach the whole thing to the front. There it is. And as you can see, I used my paint marker um, just to add a few little shiny spots. This is totally not necessary. I just think it makes it look extra cute. All right, this is pretty much done. And now we're going to work on the lid. So the lid comprises this large piece, these two kind of curved pieces, and then these are going to be our decorative pieces that we'll layer on top. So these pieces are going to go here and here. These pieces are going to go here and here. And then um, we won't attach this piece until um, this is all assembled because it's, it, it is going to be curved again. So before I attach these, I actually am gonna give them a little bit of a texture with my Sizzix embossing machine. And this thing is so much fun. I just wish that I had the bigger one so that I could actually make things, uh, do textures on things that are a little bit larger. But for small pieces, it works great. With all of these decorative pieces attached, the next thing we're going to do is fold along these score lines. Kind of got in the groove there and didn't explain what I was doing, but basically once you have one side attached, you just flip it over and attach the other side as well. And then the next thing will be to attach this rectangular piece. I'm just going to try to curve it a little bit, add some glue, and then I'll just put it right here on top. And then the last thing we're going to do to finish off this lid is to take a large bead and just hot glue it to the top. finish off this project. This is not necessary either, but just something fun I'm going to do is add some little ribbon decoration right here along the edges.
Congratulations on completing this totally sweet gumball machine. Thanks for watching this video and for crafting along with me. I hope you had a fun time making this project. Don't forget, I always love to see your finished results, so be sure to share them with me over on Instagram tagging at Designs by Miss M. And special thanks to my wonderful supporters on Patreon. Thank you so much for your support. If you enjoyed this paper craft, please consider becoming a supporter. Not only will you help keep the designs coming, but you can also have a chance to help pick new designs in the future. As a patron, you can even get awesome exclusive content like postcards and enamel pins in the mail. Thanks again for watching and happy crafting!